Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Atruda, and welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, we got repeatedly shot in the face by some robots, but that's fine, we were wearing power armor, so, to be honest, it was a very, very light scratch indeed. And today, we're gonna be leaving behind the safety of our base, of course, and uh, heading out for, yes, what may be our biggest, most ambitious mission yet, because uh, there's one thing in particular we really, really flipping need, and it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of setup to get it done, but that's fine. I think it's time to start making a move in that direction, shall we say. Though first up, never leave it easy money and easy XP sitting on the table as a result of, yes, last time bringing all my stuff to Hangman's Alley, I have now got myself, yes, a giant pile of materials, uh, some of which can just get me immediately a little bit of uh, good stuff. So uh, I've picked something in particular out of my giant stash, and I'm just going to very quickly visit Diamond City. For you see, I've got myself two miscellaneous quests. I can't remember what either of them actually, you know, give me, but just in case they're good, uh, we'll take care of them. So uh, step one, uh, round here to the science lab. For you see, they wanted me to get a bloatfly gland on a little field trip, and that we have done. Oh, the field trip, of course. Oh, wonderful. Let me just take that. These glands are definitely the product of adaptation to radioactive exposure. Maybe our own insides have adapted as well. Wouldn't that be something? Here's a little reward for my new junior scientist. I do like Duff. She's great, so... Uh... 100 caps and a tiny, tiny amount of XP, I guess it's better than nothing. And also the game said pick up, yes, the new edition of the uh, the newspaper in miscellaneous. Now that I don't think is going to reward me anything, but you know what? Let's keep the quest log nice and tidy. And yes, indeed, I get myself a view from the vault, but nothing else. It just, you know, clears out the log. But, 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 while I'm passing through town, and as you know, I'm currently being uh, weighed down by all my caps... Never mind, I've just missed the mega surgery, so I can't get, you know, some burns put on my face. That's a shame, we'll get that done later, I guess. So, what's our first big job today? Well, today what we're going to be doing is, yes, clearing out one of the most important little travel routes in the entire game. Making sure that I can move from my base to where I need to in Boston. And that there is, yes, the river. The river's actually pretty safe, all things considered, so if I can just get myself a nice clear path along the river so I can get to the Old North Church nice and easy, so I can cut down to get into Good Neighbor nice and easy, that's useful. That's very, very useful indeed, and uh, of course, I wouldn't mind going back to the Old North Church to turn in Tradecraft as well, though, uh, while I'm right by Diamond City. Okay, I'm willing to give a Luxy at Hardware Town, because yeah, the Painting the Town mission wouldn't mind giving that one at least a tentative looksy. You see, the way this mission is supposed to go is, yeah, you're supposed to go up to the front door, and one of the raiders who's in disguise yells, oh no, you need to help me, then you walk into, you know, uh, an ambush. There's the front door right over there, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a back door too, uh, though I can't remember what locks on it, so we may or may not be able to uh, get into that hands. Okay. I hear something around here. No, no, that's fine. That's the woman who's uh, laying the trap. That's no problem. That's no problem at all. So ignore her because uh, she's a trap. Now, uh, there is uh, an alternative, which is uh, if you just take out these two, uh, then the ambush doesn't trigger because, uh, yeah, the raiders don't have any reason to an ambush. They're just standing around. You can sneak around them a bit more easily. But... I'm going to check the rear before I do that. Also, hang on, just check my... Uh, I don't have a crit in hand. That's... That unnerves me. Okay. That's all absolutely fine. Just get around the back over here. There we go. That's some raidery looking stuff to my mind. We should be pretty safe here. All right, we're in low light conditions. Where are we? Come on, I know there's... I think there might be two raiders around the back here. Hang on, what's my what's my explosive right now? Because I might want a grenade. Already set on frag grenades, that's absolutely fine. So, okay. Just be ready. 
Because, yeah, they don't show up as pips in survival mode. I believe. And then again, maybe they only spawn back here afterwards. There's the door. Yeah, there we go. Yep, grenades. There we go. They're talking about grenades right now. No, you're over there. And yeah, the Raider Psycho's talking about all of this. Just third person view, please. Third person view. I see you right there. He was making the sounds with his mouth. Pins being okay, there's two. You know what? I'm gonna give it a go. So just go. And grenade! Back. And that was not enough to Okay, that's mildly, mildly concerning. Still, you're almost dead, you're almost dead. Healing up, healing up, healing up, healing up, healing up, healing up, healing up. Go! Nail him, that's scum. 88, and that animation's a good sign. Number two, caution, still not danger. Caution, still not danger. Might start blind firing in a second. I need to use this corner. Oh, that might be about to explode. I tell you what, I'll give that a little bit of a, a helping hand if that wants to just go nuclear in a second. Where are you? There's you. And, oh, wait, 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 go. Right in the back. Go. And I've got my crit in hand. And I'm back to hidden. Now, I'm a little bit concerned by the fact that truck's now... Good, that's now exploded. But I'm going to just uh, give that a minute. Because the thing about exploded trucks is, yeah, they're a bit radioactive. And, like, you can't really tell what the uh, the range on that's going to be. Still, I'll be having all of this, thank you. That's, uh, that's very helpful. And, yes, I picked up the rifle, so I got the ammo out of it, too. I have done that on this one occasion. All right, we should be far enough away from that to just get around the outside. Yeah, we should be fine. So now we're going to go in the back way. Unless we can't, in which case all of this was um was for nothing. And it turns out, no, we can just get him. So we're going in the back, not the front, which is much, much better. Okay, so here we are inside uh, Hardware Town. And by the way, I'll just be helping myself to... Uh, Obviously, you know, when I'm playing normally, I never find antibiotics. The moment I can't use them, I find 10 million of them. What I'm looking for is right flipping here. And the raiders tend to be clustered right at the front. Because, you know, they're waiting for the ambush to happen. So, there we go. Okay, hang on. That, that sounds like you were sort of expecting me. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Just be ready. But it's taking so long. I don't know. Maybe you should go check it out. You don't think I will? Where are they? They should be at the front. There we go. Yeah, they're at the front. Good. Good, good, good. So they are right now at the front, which is precisely where I want them to be. And that means I can just get round over here. I can make the paint. I can leave. Alright, so I see you over there, but... I should be able to just share blue paint, yellow paint, mixy paint, make green paint, and I've now got green paint. And now, if I wanted to, I could start, you're literally even named, don't want to take out demo, not particularly. If I'd seen like, you know, a nice, uh, lovely, lovely named legendary or something, that'd be great, but you're not legendary, either. So yeah, that there, that's pretty much precisely how I wanted it to go. They were just a bit weird, they were talking about the ambush, even though the ambush hasn't started yet, and they had no reason to think the ambush was starting, but screw it, that's some easy XP. There is a skill magazine in there, by the way, but it's only like, uh, picket fences, so I'm not gonna bother going for that, because yeah, those particular decorations, not particularly important to me. So okay, straight back to town, that's another nice, easy mission to turn straight in. Are they even still there, by the way? No, when you've actually already gone inside, they just uh, nip inside and the ambush no longer happens. Fair enough, I suppose. You know, speaking of which, it's actually been, um, yeah, surprisingly large amount of time since I last saw any legendaries at all. I should be seeing, like, one out of every ten enemies, though possibly they're guaranteed not to spawn in certain, like, plot missions? I don't know. Anyway, got some paint for you. Let's snap it on the wall. It's the right paint. You're going to be thrilled about this. Mm. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Oh, Abbott's happy because we brought him the right paint. You can bring him the wrong paint, either yellow or blue, without being mixed. 
That makes them unhappy. You can also get red paint from the Institute, but you cannot use it. You can't just slap red up. Sadly, that is not an option. Bit of a shame, really. There we go, painting the town, bit of XP, and yeah, he pays a bit extra, 200 caps, because you brought the exact right shade of green, which is just lovely. Now, as I was saying, back on to my main objective today, getting along the river. Though, I will say as we head out into this, you know, beautiful clear night, isn't it bloody hilarious that I had uh, two rad storms uh, pretty much in a bloody row when I was starting the game and had no rad protection at all? Ever since I found the flipping hazmat suit, Nothing. Not one rad storm, not even a sniff of one. Just bloody typical, eh? Okay, time to figure out what we're doing versus what we're not. Because, uh, yeah, the boat over here, we may or may not wish to uh, take that out. So here we go. Raider Scum just sitting down. Another Raider Scum. I only see two. You're sort of walking away right now. Do I want to get involved with these guys? And if I do, uh, no, I can't realistically vatch you. So in which case this would just be the case of, uh, you know what, I'm not going to say no to the XP. So you can just go down, then to caution. They're never going to find me, uh, not in a million flipping years, uh, but check for them. And yeah, move, because if they start blind firing, uh, you don't want to be uh, in the right area. And just keep an eye out in case there's anybody else around here. But no, nice and easy. We should be able to pick off some of these guys. Then again, there's, there's a lot of containers in the way, so... Uh, Finding them and nailing them uh, might be a bit on the uh, the tricky side, especially as, yeah, they do have uh, a power armor lad. So finishing him off, that's that's why we might not be 100% uh, clearing out this location. But he tends to hang out, you know, towards the rear of the boat. So uh, hopefully not a big deal. I think some of them might have gone to sleep, by the way. So sadly, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll move on. All right, tiny bit of nice free XP. Not going to say no to that. Next big thing is going to be uh, backstreet apparel. That can be uh, a bit trickier because they've often got uh, turrets set up. So, uh, okay, I see the side cone. Where's the turrets? There's, aha, there it is. Okay, so I could take you out right now. And I see another turret up there too. But that turret I can easily back away from by just moving around the corner. So to be honest, best option is just going to be uh, take you out. Because, yeah, the turrets aren't going to be able to do a thing. Move back around the corner. If anyone wants to come around the corner and come and investigate. I think there might be a second human who's, like, right there by the door. Yes, Scum, though. So Scum's lower level. I see you. I'll take the shot. 38%. And, okay. Fortunately... Silenced. So it barely even... There we go. Gotcha. And down you go. Good, good, good. Oh, you were armed with a knife anyway. Okay. Didn't need to be too worried about that. And to once that's done... Uh, yeah. Basic level one uh, turrets or whatever. Nice and easy to pick off. In caution. Make sure we don't get spotted by the other. Reload. Make sure nothing's coming up the side. But honestly, uh, no one should hear a thing. We've also got 80% against the combat inhibitor, apparently, though it seems a bit of a small target. But I will take that because I want to just boost up the uh, the critical chance. That looks like a good hit. Beautiful. Hidden. I think it's just two. And yeah, with that explosion, if we're hidden, we should be fine. Now, I don't need to clear this place out or anything. I might just put my nose inside it because, uh, yeah, just... Again, where are the legendaries? I know legendaries are scary, but... You kind of need them. Legendaries are like, you know, uh, necessary and stuff. We need legendaries and just be on the lookout, by the way, because, uh, yeah, we're coming up on uh, the overpass. Super mutant missile launcher. Definitely want to have a crit ready to uh, nail him. I'm going to step inside, uh, but, uh, yeah, if need be, uh, we're abandoning it straight away, just like Hubris Comics. Here we go. What have we got? One psycho. Seems to be a psycho by himself. There is a scaver, which worries me a little bit. Take a shot. Go. He goes down. And... Did you just miss 95%? And there he goes down. Wait, wait, peckish. Scaver. Take out the scaver. Crits. There we go. That's what we use crits for. Still caution. Wait, wait, wait. I'm kind of a bit lit up right now. I'm not sure I can shoot this out, though. No, that's not the sort of thing you can shoot out. 
because it's not officially a spotlight, though it does mean I'm kind of in light right now. And in a moment, we should be good. Yeah, there's going to be one or two in the next room over. But now we're back to hidden. They're not coming. I wouldn't mind getting one more shot on them, though. I know I can't detonate this, but disarming them regardless is worth a tiny, tiny amount of uh, XP. So uh, it's not the worst thing in the world to do while we're just passing by. Watch out, though, because, yeah, you can't disarm oil. So uh, maybe stay off that just in case. Right, there's the turrets. And if I could just get a quick shot on that, because for some reason it's... Hang on, what's the... Those are the legs. The shopping cart is apparently uh, the legs of the turret, which is uh, surprising, but okay. Kind of wouldn't have thought they were legs, but then uh, I suppose some slightly odd things were legs back in old Fallout as well uh, to make things fit into the uh, the aim shot system. So what can you do, eh? Uh, just be ready for trouble. That's just bones. Everything's fine. Uh, Watch out for items. That's just the blood room where they keep the blood. Uh, nothing suspicious going on here. And yeah, I wouldn't mind. Hang on, what's my... Uh... Okay, I do not have a crit back in hand. The next room over has got some really, really good loot in it. This one on the... Uh... You're using the table right now. I don't know how many it's going to be precisely. Go. Go. And go. Go. Scaver. You know what? Grenade. Close. Well, that was definitely some people dead. Then I'm just retreating over here. Still in caution. They don't know where I am. If they want to come this way, I'm happy to pick them off. That there, there. That's a good time for a grenade. Back to hitting. Good. Good, 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 good. Must have been rats or the wind or something. Yep. He was just having a hallucination. Though... Uh, there's still two of them. That's maybe a bit more than I was expecting, to be honest. I thought it was two in that room, not three. The door's closed. Wait. Go. Wait. Go. Wait. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're definitely dead. No, never mind. That was the people upstairs. It was only two. Good. My memory did not let me down. And weirdly, for whatever reason, yeah, the actual big chest thing is... Uh, Right in here, which is... I'm a bit close to being detected. Then we're going to come downstairs, are you? Because if so, I would not be happy about that. I'm just going to close this door, just in case. Right, what have you all got? Night vision hardened sniper rifle, but it's the wrong type of sniper rifle, so don't worry about that. Meanwhile, you have got yourself... Hang on, a muzzled light sniper rifle. Okay, hang on, that is a light frame. Oh, that's a light long barrel. Okay, and a full stock. That's... That's actually some good stuff. I mean, the only problem with that is... Uh, yeah, the um, uh, the receiver. But plenty of that is actually... Uh, that's nice. I've got long light as well. But yeah, I'm sticking with short stock for weight reasons. Uh, medium magazine, short scope, no muzzle. I mean, uh, I wouldn't mind having some of that. To be perfectly honest, I'll take the ammo. All right, and I'll take the uh, the caps of the bare minimum. So, uh, ooh, that's that's very interesting. Okay, I'm going to take it because yeah, it's long light, so it's only weighs nine point eight. We'll take that. We might have to drop it down the line, but this is uh, no, that's the armor, nothing else. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, and we can aha, we can even open the safe. It's going to be disappointing because safes are always disappointing in this game. They're never good, but um, I'll give it a go while I'm here. Okay, go and prove me wrong, whatever. So uh, 7308, that's not bad at all. Together with a tiny bit of oil. Oil is always in good demand. That's just free money. Okay, fine. You know what? You've proved yourself more valuable than I expected. Fair play to you. Not going up top, though. There's no point at this point. Yeah, it gets a bit uh, tight and unnecessarily nasty uh, further up. I'm pretty happy uh, with the loot I've got right there. I've still got a crit in hand, which is uh, really, really good. Uh, let's be on our way. And yes, I am aware, of course, I could just, you know, swim this entire route I'm currently doing. But that does come with uh, risks, as we've seen. Because I did go and check this afterwards. And also someone in the comments uh, did confirm uh, 
Yes, what happens is uh, while you're swimming, you're constantly adding to your disease risk pool and the game starts constantly rolling after a certain level for disease every few hours. So I did get a bit unlucky that I like, you know, immediately rolled to disease the moment I jumped in the water last time. Uh, but yeah, swimming long distances, uh, you want to avoid it if you can. It's a good way to get around if there's like, you know, one particularly important thing you want to get your hands on. But you don't want to be doing it every day if at all possible. Now, there is a bridge that could move me over to the other side right now. The other side uh, might be a bit safer. Because what we've got here is... Uh, hello up there, Mr. Mutant. Yeah, I want to get Vats on him uh, just to see what variant he is. Because uh, that mutant can be... Uh, okay, he's a basic. So, honestly, that's kind of okay. I don't have a great just... Hold still. Hold still, my friend. Hold still. Hold. All walk in circles. Either's... That's okay. He's dead now. He can sometimes just have a missile launcher. So him being dead is just generally a good idea. Yep, thought so. I think it's guaranteed, in fact. So, uh, yeah. Him going down before he has a chance to uh, use that thing. Very, very good idea. And now it doesn't really matter which way we go, whether we're crossing uh, over there or over here, we're going to need to get past some raiders. But it shouldn't be anything uh, too dangerous, by the way. No, I can do without a proboscis. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, just be ready. Uh, be on the amphitheater. We need to break a raider camp on uh, one uh, of the sides of the river because we've got to be able to make this route by land uh, safely uh, and reliably. And that is... Uh, is that Hallucinogen Inc. or is that going to be Vault Tech Headquarters? Hang on. Uh, where am I right now? It's one of the two. Uh, I might just go and uh, say hello to it. Regardless, you guys are going to be uh, perfectly cool uh, with me just getting uh, close by enough to trigger your thing. I'm just going to put your gun away just in case. There we go. Don't worry. Don't want to chat. Just want the XP. That's a bird. That's fine. Oh, yeah, it's Hallucinogen Inc. because that's the back door right there. Which is... Uh, useful actually because oh hang on there's are there living people there's going to be a bunch of corpses gunner corpses right outside the front door and some of them uh, might have some you know uh, useful armor it all seems pretty uh, pretty peaceful right now i'm not going in obviously we're not going into uh, hallucinogen ink there's something around here though and the ominous music's playing which you know that never that never doesn't unsettle me. Are you okay? No, that's nothing. That's fine. Right, you guys. I'll be having... Uh, some things around here and I don't like it because I don't know what it is. Uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, they've just got basic leather. Sometimes gunners can spawn with, uh, you know, good stuff on them. Actual proper combat gear at about this level because now I'm level 18. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, not on this occasion, no. Still, about a hundred caps across all of the, uh, the corpses, so I shan't say no to that. And yeah, if you've got Master Lockpick, you can just literally go in the back door, which is, uh, very bloody convenient. But I think there's actually a chain door or something beyond that, so you can't just, like, you know, skip the entire dungeon that way. In fact, I'm not 100% sure why that's... why that's even there. But it is, so that's all absolutely fine. I'll be taking some duct tape, thank you. That's never going to flipping hurt. And yes, now we're coming up on... Uh, yes, here we go. We've now come up on, uh, yeah, the other side of the main Boston Common. So while I'm passing by, again, there's no reason not to uh, trigger all of this right over here. That's going to be the Massachusetts State House. There's, uh, there's a church over in... I have been to that graveyard. Did I just not get close enough to, uh, to actually trigger the location? Maybe I didn't, you know, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do it right now. Because, you know, in survival mode, uh, the clock is never not ticking. You're always getting more tired, uh, more hungry, more thirsty. But at least, yes, we finally got over that bloody fatigue. Now, here we go. That there is uh, the Raider Camp. I'm seeing Raider Scum. I'm seeing more Raider Scum. I'm seeing... Okay, that's just a missionary. That's fine. In fact, they might be... Uh, they might be helpful. All I really need to do... Uh, is take out all of the Raider Scum. If they want to vaguely come in this direction and maybe get drawn into conflict with the missionaries and whatnot, that would be uh, 
not the worst thing in the world. So I'm just going to take a couple of nice, easy shots against all of you. That is at 87. Not bad at all. The dog is not sure what it wants to do, but he's coming to have a look. See, two idiot savants in a row. That's not bad either. I'm in caution. And I'm guessing it's going to be I see you over there. Hang on. No, I don't. I see one of you. You are going to die as well. Sneak attack. The problem is they're going to start blind firing soon. So I need to actually move position because it's not accurate. But, you know... Every single uh, hit point does hurt. Do I want to crit that Psycho? And the answer is, never mind. But I'd like to not miss him either. Luckily, Silence Weaponry means that kind of doesn't really matter. And just wait. Wait! Down he goes. Good. Good, good, good. When I say down he goes, there's another one over there too. Okay. Just wait. And yeah, the problem is I'm doing this manually at range. So as a result of that, I'm not getting... There you go. I see you up there. You know where I am. And just hold still. Hold still. Hold. 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 Darn it. I wanted him to hold still for just one minute more. Darn it. Now he's gone away. I could have taken out the guy up top. Because he unnerves me. And often you just can't get a bloody shot at him. I see ya. I. Darn it. Stop moving. Just hold still and aim at me, you bastard. Oh, and now I'm back into hidden. So now he's probably not going to come back over here again. Well, that's just... You know what, that's fine actually. Yeah, that's 100% a-okay. Okay, okay, just be on the lookout because there might be more on the ground. The guy up top probably won't be seeing me as long as I just give him a bit of a wide berth. And yeah, there's going to be more raiders on the far side. I'm not sure whether they're supposed to be like part of the same gang or whether they're supposed to be like, you know, rival gangs on rival sides of the bridge. I'm not sure there's any actual uh, literature. It's just one way or the other. I'm a little concerned, though, because I very momentarily went into caution right there. I just need to figure out who's here, if anyone. Okay. Wait. Wait. Down over here, and when I say low light conditions, it's almost morning. Alright, so wait. Go. I think we're okay. To make a move over to the other side. Just. 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 Okay. I think we've now got a route. We can just walk straight through. Just be ready for trouble. Yeah, there's the glowing one who's just chilling out on his thing. I think we're golden. I could go up top via the fire escape. But honestly, there's just, there's just no reason for me to do so. Instead, just keep on... Keeping on down the river. Good. Good, 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 good. May as well take out the glowing one while I'm literally here, given uh, he actually can't fight back or get you because he can't swim or anything. It's a bit sad, really. And do I actually want to take a... Uh, just, just hold still, my friend. Hold still. There you go. You're not, not quite dead, unfortunately. But yes, there's not much you can do about it. 70. 70 XP. Not bad at all. Now, we should be getting close by to uh, Cabot House, right? Oh. Sorry, dogs over there. I'm just gonna put a grenade on top of them. And now that was a well flipping placed grenade. That is an alpha vicious. Take you down. Golden. You see, I'm not actually terrible at this game sometimes. I'm actually pretty good at yes, uh just vaguely getting the throws right, even without the targeting reticle thing. So uh, that's why I've not been rushing to that, because I was practicing before I actually did this run. So I'm generally pretty good at getting the grenades where they need to be. So, okay, that's going to be uh, Cabot House right there. May as well take the uh, the dog meat while we're passing by. Food is... Uh, it's okay for now, but it could be better. So I shan't say no to a free meal. Also, for all the people who have been saying in the comments for the last few parts, John, why aren't you using explosives more? This episode's dedicated to you. Because, yes, I sort of forget about them when I panic, which I shouldn't do because explosives are... They're so good. Now, what's nearly detecting me? Because I wasn't expecting too much round here, to be honest. But something seems to be around here. That's Pickman's Gallery Way. But yeah, the Raiders should be way more in that direction. Cut through here. Private property. I have been invited. So that is all a-okay. Don't need to worry about that. 
Don't worry, me and this guy, we're cool. 100% fine. No, no, I've been invited. Okay, I was asked to come here. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. So please don't shoot me with your sentry bot. You see, there we go. Now I'm not gonna get shot. Better and flipping better. Because this guy is... He's a little on the intimidating side to have standing right flipping next to ya. Now I could lie and say I was here to, you know, pick up their mission diddly diddly dee, but um, I will be right with you in a second. I'm actually here to, you know, rob the place. And seriously, this place is a gold mine if you don't mind doing a bit of uh, stealing. There's plenty of water, plenty of good clean supplies, cafeteria trays, all sorts of bits and pieces. Really, really damn good stuff here. So, including, yes, some, uh, some variants you don't see very often. Like, say, you know, pristine pre-war stuff, which is lovely. And though we don't need it right now, uh, yeah. If we ever need a new fat man, because I accidentally uh, left the old one on, you know, a um, corpse that then despawns, so I don't have it anymore, there is a fat man right here. Though I'm not sure there's uh, a mini new. Hang on, you've got, oh, you've got some good stuff here, mind, and oh my. A combat rifle. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting to uh, to see that so damn soon. So uh, let's just be uh, hidden and also be taking uh, 0.50. Ohm. Not relevant to me yet, but might be very, very soon. Take the 45 from taking the combat. Take the plasma grenades. Okay, this, this has been a good little stash right here. So yeah, bear in mind, uh, we do have the opportunity to, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, yes, there is a mini nuke. There's one at the back there. Good. I'm glad I noticed that. I was about to say I remembered that was there, but I didn't. I just saw it. So, you know, fair enough. So, okay. That's where we're going to be getting a mini nuke from if we actually need, you know, a mini nuke for anything. Now, I believe uh, the other big thing I wanted here, I don't know if I can actually... Uh, no. Until I've got the key to go upstairs, uh, I can't actually get any further upstairs, I believe. Unless I can... Hang on. Can I go up this way? And no, that also needs a key. The key might be sitting around somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. And also, I'm getting uh, getting thirsty. So, yeah, there's a skill magazine in here that I most definitely want to uh, help myself to. There's also the Zeta gun, though. Uh, to be honest, I can do without that. It's not the best weapon in the world, so just, uh, just leave that be uh, for the time being. Knowing that the nuke launcher is there is good enough for now. Then again, do I want to... Do I want to take that right now? Because the combined weight of it and the nuke is like 50. I mean, I could just take it, but I don't really... I don't need it. Not yet. Just remember it's there. It's going to be relevant down the line. That combat rifle is... Yeah, that's an unexpected surprise. I mean, I knew they could start spawning about now. I wasn't banking on that one. I was banking on the one that's outside, yeah, Fort Hagen. So, yeah, that thing can be... Really nice when you get it set up correctly. We'll need to look into uh, what we can and can't do with that back at base at some point. In fact, you know what? I could... I could do a little run back to base right now. I mean, it would be inefficient, but thanks to the magic of editing, uh, you'd never flipping. Yes, yeah, screw it, I'm doing it. Right, I'm just going to run back to base, because honestly, uh, now we've cleared out the path, it will not take too long to do. Uh, and having that thing back at base ready to go uh, would not be... Uh, a bad call at all. In fact, you know what, John? What are you thinking? Like, if you're here and you're... That's just the sentry bot waking up. It's fine. I'm not about to die. If you're already here, like, if you can see Pikmin's gallery, John, you can... You can see the bloody railroad. All right, that's Old North Church right there. What are you even thinking? Just flipping go to the church, John. You're 90% of the way there. It's fine. And again, 90% of the way there, but there's going to be... Uh, Raiders between me uh, and yeah, the final, the final stage. So just be ready for them. All right, where are you? You're gonna be somewhere around here. Yeah, I see ya. I see signs of trouble. Then again, not not that bad. Now bad, yes. Now now problems. Um, I see you there. I'm going to put a bullet in him. Alright, he goes down nice and easy. Someone's going to see that straight away. I'm just going to move back in this direction. Alright. And just be ready to to back off. Like, hard and fast. There's uh, 
there's a few of these guys and they do need to kind of go down. Uh, I've got a tree here which is not great for cover. Okay, there's a corner here. That's better. What have I got? What have I got? Because yeah, there's, there's a few of them in the way. Come on guys, show yourselves. It concerns me. I don't have uh, precise locations. If I could ICU. You. Okay, you know what? Hold. Hold. Darn it. Okay. Well, if you'd like to just come and stand at that corner, then again, they might not have my position well enough to stop line firing, so I'm just going to be slightly over here. Okay, just wait for the right moment. They don't seem particularly interested in hunting me down yet. I see one over there. Ah, you're the guy who's knocking on Pikmin's door, aren't you? Yes, I see you. Problem is, now you're kind of stuck inside that alcove, uh, which is a bit in the way. I could try and loop around these guys. All right, what's... Is this the the graveyard up here? Yeah, there's a little graveyard right here. Just a feral. Okay, so take you out. And then I see you right over there as well. Do you know where I am yet? And no, but two shots will put you down. Then I'm in danger. Okay, now there's now there's more coming for me, uh, which is... Uh, that's fine. I've got myself... Okay, he doesn't seem to know where I am. Do they know where I am? No, they don't know where I am. And you don't know. I don't know why that guy took two bullets when this guy just takes one. But that's apparently a sneak attack. Again, no flipping crits. And there we go. One more feral. And that should get me up to two crits. I go invisible. Put you down. Idiosavorm. Double crit. Good, that's actually really useful, because now I can get a pretty reliable double kill on these bastards without it being, you know, a problem. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Step forward, uh, see if you can just see somebody who you can just nail. Because if we can just sneak around them, that'd be great. Where are you? There was one more over... Uh oh Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. That was 0 0.26. Now I'm in danger. Uh, but I'm kind of... I, I'm kind of in a bad position. Where are they? Where's the people who just... I see you over there. I'm going to take a couple of shots at you. 50-50. Missed both and got shot for 0 0.05. You know what? I'm just going to go. Because they seem to basically not be doing damage to me, basically. Okay, at this point, we're just... We're just running... We're just running from them. This is, this is, none of this is part of the plan. But at least now I've got, oh, bloody hell, that was, that was ten. Oh, this is all gone to tits. Um, this is fine. Uh, so this is all gone a, a little bit to heck, actually. And take you out. And down you go. Another 0 0.04. Oh, this is, oh dear. Oh, flipping dear. Uh, danger. There's one over there, and 70 or 80, yep, you can just go down, no trouble at all. Come on, just hide, uh, hide right here, this is, ah, that was, this could have been handled better, but I just got spotted, and then panicked, and then, uh, that's, that's gonna happen. Alright, it was, uh, it was a kind of handful of really insignificantly tiny... Oh, someone's just spotted me. Oh, legendary. Legendary, 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 legendary. Okay, this is all going to be worth it. Do you know what's going to happen? He is going to have, like, the legendary instigating something on him. And that's going to make this all flipping worthwhile. All right, just nail the legendary. And the music's going to calm down in a second. There's another raider out there somewhere. But they, like, briefly detected me when I was over here. It's kind of because it's bright daylight, presumably. Okay. You know what? What I've just done there is I made a really good... There he is. I saw movement. I made a really good... Where the flip are you? There's someone over... I see you over there. And... Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. No more. No flipping more. One. And... Seriously, what the bloody hell? Come on, Vats. Behave. And he just fired. One more shot. Still in danger. Still in cocky danger. Because why wouldn't I be, eh? Where's... Where are they? You see, what I did there, as I was saying, is... I just made a trait. I swapped 10 hit points for a legendary item. 
and it's going to be worth it. It's going to be 100% worth it. It's going to be amazing. Where's the last one? There's so bloody many. This is a bit of an open environment. Yeah? Okay. This is all fine. All 100% fine. This area needed to be cleared out if we wanted to be able to walk these roads. There's another one somewhere. I don't know where he is. I don't also know for certain that whoever it is is the last one. Alright, so... That's just something in the water. That's fine. Where are you? Wherever you are, you're not... You're not close to me. Okay. I'll take a few things I can sell at the bare minimum. Now, you were inside here, weren't you? Where is the... The radar. I'll be taking an office desk fan. Was it you? And... Oh. Right. That's completely worthless. Okay, so that was... That was a bad... Uh, that was a bad trade. That was a bad trade. Uh, and I actually don't know where the last radar is. Which is a concern. Darn it. That was... Right. Scruffy. Little bit scruffy, I'll admit. So yeah, we've now lost 40 hit points, 141 out of 181. But that's all absolutely fine, because yeah, I'm pretty sure when I get my, uh, yeah, uh, hunger back, I think I've lost an endurance somewhere or another. So uh, we'll be better than that in a minute. There we go, 155 out of 195 once I'm properly fed and watered. So, uh, okay, we've lost 40 hit points, that's... That's fine, that was a little bit needlessly scruffy, but sometimes, uh, sometimes the odd needlessly scruffy thing is going to happen. It's a-okay. Are we good here, by the way, or is there more? The brackets are not filling me with confidence. Okay, there's the... There's one of our destinations. I think we're all... Feral ghoul. Okay, well that's fine. If it's just a feral ghoul over there, I'm just going to put a grenade in on top of them. Back off. And then just take you out. And then take you out. That's fine too. And then one more over there who I think I must have missed with my grenade. That's just embarrassing. Still, that is a little bit of crit down. Yeah, I'm back up to uh, one and a half crits, which is a positive... Uh, place to be. All of you are golden. Pencil is in fact, yes, pencil is good. And this is, is that the back entrance out of, uh, uh yes, what's I'm gonna call it? Murderer's house. Um, I've forgotten his name. Man, does a lot of murder. Good art as well. Still, we have made it. So, uh, yeah, that's that fight. I'm sorry. I panicked. I panicked. I thought they were hitting me so lightly that they were just armed with terrible flipping trash weaponry that I could just basically bull rush straight through it because uh, they were doing literally 0 0.2 damage a hit. But uh, unfortunately, no. That uh, that didn't fly in the end. And yes, we can get a shufty on here because we've already cleared out the catacombs and whatnot. So that's just flipping lovely. So turn in tradecraft and then... Uh, Yes, this is what I was referring to at the start of this episode. The fact that there are things as needs to be done. And the thing that needs to be done is uh, we need to become friends with the railroad uh, really bloody fast. Because uh, they're how we unlock one of the most powerful armor upgrades uh, in the game. Ballistic flipping weave. Oh, fun thing, by the way, when you're selecting a uh, code name, obviously, you know, uh, you could be Professor or Fixer. You can ask for some more options, etc, etc, etc. Those are not the only options uh, that are available to you. So, yeah, then you've also got uh, Bullseye, Whisper and Charmer. If you just refuse to accept a code name, you get another code name that's not actually listed among all of these, which is very, very cool indeed. So just insist you don't want one and you get, yeah, the hidden extra one. <laughs> I really don't want to choose. Suit yourself. We'll call you Wanderer. Seems fitting. So there we go. I am now Wanderer. So Deacon loves that. Deacon could be a companion. Everything is golden. I can now access, yes, the base proper. Tradecraft completes for a decent if not spectacular amount of XP. 
And yeah, now I can actually go in and, uh, if I want to, rob the flipping place blind. And they also begin, yes, uh, Boston After Dark, which we also need to do, because until we've done that, again, no chance of getting the ballistic weave. Right, help myself to fans and all the rest of it. There's noodle cups here too. Noodle cups are always nice. Help myself to anything made out of plastic. Absolutely spectacular. Pretty sure, yeah, I've got um, a hand for more things I can carry yet. I'll be having a bottle cap. Wonder glue and fuses. Oh, this is, this is lovely. Now, crucially, and I don't know this, Tinker Tom, are you willing to be a shop yet? Because... If you are, we could be in flipping business. Oh, he is, and that is, uh, that's very good news. You see, the fun thing about Tom is, uh, he sells the Tinker Tom special. Now, 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 I've been very clear from the beginning, I cannot use uh, any legendary that is available from a mission or a shop. And Tinker Tom special is, because yes, this is the, um, it's basically just a stalker's hunting rifle with a couple of extra components slotted on. However, it is 100% A-OK -okay for me to buy a legendary weapon if I want to utilize a mod that is attached to it. Tinker Tom's special comes with a suppressor. You can't normally build one of those until you get up to, um, I'm pretty sure it's Gun Nut 3 for the hunting rifle. So uh, I want to buy this thing literally just for the suppressor, though to be honest, it's also got um, a long scope on it and a full stock and... Uh, all sorts of other really, really damn nice stuff. In fact, the calibrated powerful receiver is, I'm pretty sure that's tied to level 3 too. So, uh, I would like to take this thing off his hands, alright? And I'm not going to be using the weapon. Because the reason I say you can't use legendaries is because uh, lucky laser rifle say rights authority, it's too good. Now, stalk is kind of terrible, but I'm not going to be using it anyway. For the simple reason that, yeah, I'm not going to be using uh, the base weapon. The components attached to it, however... Fair game as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, actually, how much do you, uh, how much do you want for this? Well, I can afford it, but I'd ideally not, you know, pay that much if I can avoid it. Then again, I've got 10 million bits of stuff to sell. So, uh, oh, I'm kind of actually almost full up, aren't I? Oh, I am as well. Oh, bloody hell. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I picked up a... Yeah, a flipping muzzled light sniper rifle. I don't need that anymore. 100% I don't need that. But I also need to make sure... Okay, hang on. I'll get back to you in a second. Because uh, Perfect World, uh, what I want to be doing is... Yeah, putting it on my, uh, my red dress and all the rest of it. But if I do that, I'm going to lose... Uh, yeah, my chest piece and my legs. What are we going to do here? I'll put on the glasses and the militia hat. So that doesn't cost me anything in terms of carry capacity, but it does still get me, yes, charisma up by two uh, straight away. And I'll use that to clear out a little bit of nice stuff I don't need. Like, for example, yeah, this here muzzled lighter uh, sniper rifle. Don't need that anymore. Just gonna strip that for parts straight away. Okay, having sold him a few bits and pieces, I'm down to 202. Is that good enough for... Yes, with the red dress on, I'm down to 210. So I'm absolutely fine. Now I'm going to get as good prices as I can get. That is, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the best way of doing it. You see, that saves me flipping 500 caps right there. So that is 100% worth doing. It weighs 16.7, so I can take that as long as I immediately change out of this gear afterwards. Uh, so I will gladly do you a bit of a trade there, lovely. And with all my gear on, that gets me up to, yes, 217 out of 220, which is uh, good enough. It'll do for flipping now. Just need to make sure I don't get, you know, uh, hungry, because that's going to start eating into my strength, and that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a problem. Right, okay. It's time to have a look-see at some of these new weapons. In particular, yes, the combat rifle. The combat rifle can be uh, quite a flipping beast, so, uh, okay. Hardened up to 88 right now. Powerful with gun at 2. It's the only gun at 2 just for powerful uh, right there. If I'm going to be wanting, uh, yeah, calibrated powerful, uh, that's going to be rank 3. So that can go straight up to uh, 105 damage uh, compared to, uh, hang on, uh, what have I got right now? Because, yeah, this is factoring in uh, 118 on penetrating. Because, yeah, that's factoring in um, adrenaline. Uh, meanwhile, that is uh, 110. 
But this is more of an everyday, day-to-day -day sort of thing. So really I should be comparing it to, yeah, the laser rifle, which is kind of falling behind uh, for the simple reason I don't have science yet, so I just can't get this thing uh, past its basic components. So uh, the combat rifle ideally uh, should move over to being uh, my day-to-day -day thing. Uh, suppressor there is, wow. No suppressor until uh, rank 4. You're only really going to be using this when, yeah, the fight's already started. So that's, that's kind of okay. I'm not too worried about that, but yeah. I'm going to be needing gun up two uh, for any of this nonsense, which is uh, interesting. And Fat Man, uh, yeah, nothing you can do there. You need four and four on gun and science just to turn that into an experimental modification. If we could just strip this thing down, what have I got on me right now? Okay, I can take the suppressor straight off, which is pretty darn good. The long scope, I can just about craft a standard, uh, which is really nice. It's got standard magazines. Uh, do I even want the full stock, because uh, it's a bit heavier. It is a bit heavier. Better recoil. Okay, versus short stock, and then marksman stock. 0 0.6, but reduces the recoil. You know what? I'll take that, but I need uh, I need two wood uh, from somewhere in this room, and uh, calibrated powerful, hang on. Uh, so that compares to uh, powerful. Calibrated powerful would be... Uh, Okay, that would be gun nut too. So honestly, yes, that's worth taking uh, as well. So, okay. I'd like to take that off, please. Uh, and standard is, I need more oil, I need more springs. Uh, that I might need to do uh, back at base, unfortunately. But yeah, that's just the same power, but it's much better on the critical. So uh, there's kind of no reason not to use it if you've got it. If I could get, yes, three wood, uh, one spring, and one oil from the local area, that'd be... Uh, That'd be good, Deacon. Leave me alone. I'm kind of, you know, scavenging right now. Well, speak of the flipping devil. Right, there's the oil. Just need uh, springs from uh, somewhere. And also, I will be taking your medical supplies and then selling them uh, to, you know, your own people. Because I'm just like that, I suppose. I believe a battered clipboard has a spring, actually. And no, that's just level up notification. That's fine. Uh, Typewriter? Oh, typewriter's definitely got what I need, but okay. What I need now is uh, wood. Okay, what's going to be made out of wood in here? Darn it, he's got like nothing made of wood because he doesn't really have much in the way of junk. That's a shame. Ooh, test tube rack though. That might be okay. That looks like that's made of wood. Let me see this place is... This place is full of wooden boards, but I can't pick them up for some reason. Okay, we've got what we need for the standard receiver, which is great. Jeff, yeah, I could not bother carrying this thing back to base. That'd be marvellous. So full stock. Oh, I can do it. That was more than enough wood. Spectacular. So yeah, now this thing is down to basically nothing of any interest. And that means uh, penetrating is going to start getting uh, a lot better a lot faster. So that now moves over to... Uh, Calibrated powerful. Very, very good indeed. Wouldn't normally be able to handle that. Move over to full stock for better in the way of recoil. Medium magazine is fine. To be honest, go from short up to long. Again, that would require gun nut two normally. And most importantly, yeah, gun nut three silenced. Oh my. Oh flipping my. So now, now this can become my everyday day to day weapon because it's just. It's just superior in every way. It's more accurate at range. It's got, yeah, the better fire rate. It's got the better... It's just got the better everything. Now, what I wouldn't mind doing is... Uh, yeah, I could move this thing over to 0.50. At which point, it overtakes the powerful sniper rifle and becomes my most powerful weapon again. That's why I've been hoarding the, uh, the 0.50 caliber ammunition. Uh, because I knew this was coming. So, uh, hold on to this. We might want to do that in... Uh, a second, but oh, this is this is just lovely right here. But as for the combat rifle, yeah, I'm gonna need to take that back to base. Absolutely, though. What I will do now is uh, sell Tinker Tom his own weapon back, but like with all the good parts taken off it, which feels very insulting. So I am sorry about that. Can I have some ammunition, by the way? Oh, flip me. That's for uh, that's for fusion cores. Right, I don't need them, and I could, uh, I can take one. I'll take one of them. Uh, and then again, I could take more. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have those back at base. Yeah, especially if I'm about to sell the gun back to him. Ah, yes, and don't forget there is an astoundingly awesome Tails here, though. If I recall correctly, this one is, uh, yes, pretty much the worst one in the game. So 5% damage with uh, the Cryolator. 
A weapon I will most definitely at no point be using, but never say no to a free perk, I suppose. And yeah, sadly, Pam will not speak to me yet, not till boss and after dark is done. So, uh, okay, out the back way, let's flip in, make this happen. Oh, and 2450 caliber bullets, that's... That's bloody generous right there, love it. Oh, and having stepped outside, I think I just spotted, yes, the one person uh, we didn't get, which is one raider, and I'm not sure whether Vats is even capable of... Nope, Vats is capable of uh, penetrating the... Never mind, it was more than one. It was more than, uh, more than one. There's... Bloody hell, there were a lot more raiders there than I was anticipating, actually. Yes, that was my mistake. I thought it was like, you know... Oh, hang on, was that... Was that movement up top? Or was that just like a branch moving? Okay, I think we're fine to just retreat. Okay, just be aware next time we pass that area, there's still probably a raider in there bloody somewhere. And watch this bridge. Uh, sometimes this bridge is... Uh, trouble seems to be a fine state. Okay. Step the next. While we've actually got, yeah, high adrenaline and a really, really damn powerful gun... Yeah, and actually, how many crits do we have? Okay, this thing is now going to hit like a flipping truck. Now it's powerful and calibrated. Oh, yeah. The crits on this thing are going to be devastating. Just devastating without actually compromising on raw day-to-day -day power, which is really the best of both worlds, which is why it's locked to uh, gun nut three. But we don't need to worry about that. Yes, so step one, just go to a little uh, letterbox or something for a dead drop. I believe there should be a... Uh, Maya Lurk over here somewhere, but we're going to be a good distance away from him, so that's not going to be a problem. That's a raider base. There's that. There he is. I see you. Okay, you know what? We're, we're further away than I'd like. You know, just, just go. Never mind. That was, that was a sneak attack and bloody things. Right, just take it out. There we go. My looks are tankier than you ever want them to be. They're always tankier than you want them to be. That was a soft shell. That's like, you know, the basic baby My looks. My looks scare me. Okay, seriously, they are terrifying. So, okay, just go over here. Marked post box means a thing right here. Stockton's holotape together with uh, three things. Lovely. Now we just go and meet old man Stockton. I believe we've actually met him already when we last passed through uh, Bunker Hill. Very, very briefly, in fact. And actually, we're helping out, yes, one of his mercenaries, Dan, over in Covenant. It's just, um, we're kind of taking our sweet time on that one because, uh, yeah, you need, uh, you need to be able to be very confident you're going to pass a very difficult speech check before you want to go attempting that one. Right, we should be perfectly safe here. Yeah, once you're here, you're 100% uh, A-OK. -okay. So just straight over to old man Stockton. And just, yeah, he's going to give me uh, the details. And actually, you know what? This is perfect because it's almost the end of the day. And that mission is, you know, boss and after dark. And it's sunset. This is all very thematically appropriate. So all he wants me to do is secure a rendezvous point, which is an old church over in this direction. Now, uh, I'm going to be honest, I've made... um. A bit of a mistake in my route planning here, which is uh, the church is dangerously close to the starting point for the Automaton DLC. That's a problem, because I was originally planning to do this, you know, uh, before we actually hit level 15, and thus Automaton couldn't possibly trigger. But now, in theory, uh, it can, even if you don't get involved, uh, because yes, the um, uh, the event can resolve itself without you getting involved, and that means the DLC starts properly, and that means roving squads of death bots which are a problem, most definitely. But yeah, this is uh, this is all going to be fine. We just need to follow the road around the coast, which should be mostly okay, uh, and secure this church. It's going to be a handful of raiders, but I'm pretty sure there's some good sniping uh, through the window. So uh, this should be all right. Oh, and better and better, the true hero, Trash Can Carla, is actually uh, passing through right now. Well, that's, that's just very convenient because I believe, uh, yeah, over in this direction, uh, there's going to be raiders. Now, if we could just pull them into the human mincing machine that is Trash Can Carla. Oh, Trash Can Carla. Right, Trash Can Carla is about to flipping savers, basically. 
Her Brahmin, however, physically can't fit through this gap, which um, does sometimes happen. But, I mean, this is... This is kind of too good to be true. Uh, Trash Kankala, the unstoppable, the murderous, the ridiculous, is just gonna head over here. I see you, by the way. I see you. And uh, I'm just gonna take you. I missed. Hitbox problems there. Slight hitbox issues. Uh, uh, this is fine. Go! Okay, that's a good bit of damage. And now Carla's gonna go in. And Carla's just gonna basically annihilate them. Because she can. And... Oh! Bloody hell. She's only got a basic weapon, but she's incredibly tough. So this is all just hold still. Right, there goes one. 34 XP. And Carla's just going to basically draw the fire for me, which is really bloody convenient. Because, okay, this is not a companion. She just happened to be walking this way. This is all A-OK. -okay. And wait. Go! There's a headshot. And Carla now keeps walking in this direction, which means the front door is clear. Carla is literally going to escort me to my destination without her Brahmin, which she's left behind, which is... Well, this is just perfect. This is this is wonderful, in fact. There's bad TFL. So, uh, okay, we've got them tagged. We'll go and find good TFL later. And yeah, um, that field over there is where things can start happening with... Oh, no. If Carly gets pulled into uh, the DLC fight, then she'll help resolve that, which will trigger the start of Automaton. Oh, Carla. Carla, do not do this. Carla, please don't screw me over. Carla, come on. Oh, she's actually... She's going in the right direction for it, too. I just need to stay over here. Okay. I'm being detected, but it's by Carla. So right now, my brackets are useless to me. So I don't... Oh, that's... Okay, that's fine. They might hatch. I'm not hearing gunfire, which is... Which is really good. What else is over here? There's a bridge here. Is that the, the explosive Tucker bridge? It could be... Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, actually, anymore. Um, there it is. That's it. That's the, that's the DLC fight. And if I don't get involved, it's slow, but eventually it will be, no, that's just a normal one. That's just a normal one. Okay. Stay away from that. Do not get involved and just sort of hope that that doesn't, Carla's getting involved. Carla is going to start automaton. Carla has doomed us all. Okay. That's great. Just, just brilliant. Now, hang on. Carla's right here. Well, then who's firing pipe weaponry over there, then? Okay, here we go. Just stay focused on my job, which is clearing out this here church. There is, yeah, there's a rooftop over there that might be okay. Now, there's, I see Raider Scum. I mean, to be honest, I feel like I might be able to make that shot. Darn it. I would have been able to make that shot, but he moved. Uh, I see a basic Raider. I'd rather get the first shot against the Red Scum. How many are we talking about? And can grenades fit through windows? I'm kind of on the clock here. Because every second that passes uh, makes it more and more likely that... That's a super mutant up there. That's... That's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Right, just go over here and just... Oh, oh. Screw it. That wasn't a... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. If I could pull them into Carla, that might sort of work. Um, are they going to come out and see? And also, I literally can see the doom of Automaton coming. Okay, can we fit a grenade through the window? No, it looks like it... No, it just bounces off. This is... None of this is going according to plan. None of this. That's a basic radar. I don't know if I can even shoot through the window here. I was kind of... Is one of you behind the truck? Okay, this is fine. Oh, hang on. What are you... They're firing at something. What are they firing at? I don't know what they're firing at, but I don't like it. Are they getting involved in the robot fight? I think they might have just been pulled into the robot fight, which is pretty much the epitome of bad, because it means they're now helping with that. He's now behind the truck, but I can't move out, because if so, I'll expose myself. I should just burn my crits. I shouldn't burn my crits, but I can't need to burn my crits. They're now getting involved in the robot fight. Um... This is everything's, everything's fine. They're all just, screw it. I'm wasting a crit and a basic bloody radar. Um, everything's okay. That fight is going to go on for a while. 
but I'm not sure anyone's firing back at them. Where's the raider? I see the raider scum, or at least I see some raider scum. I'll take 40%. See if we get lucky. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Failed three times in a row. Excellent. Well done right over there. Take... I oh, know I don't have the action points. Obviously, I don't. Bloody hell. Everything's fine. It's all under control, by which I mean my doom is approaching. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna loop around. I'm gonna see if I can get... Can I get up top here? I can't get up top there. I'm kind of trapped in this here graveyard for the time being. I just need to get in. Do I even have a... I do have a crit in hand. One of them's dead. I'm at hidden. Based on the sound of firing, I see you. Screw it! Crit him! Good. That's good. That's all fine. That's one of you dead. I've burnt all the crits because I can't bloody... Hop on a gravestone if I can. Right. Where's that? There he is! I see you and I've got a good shot at... Yeah, one leg. Go! And down he goes. Is that done? Well, I'm in hidden. Which suggests this is done. Good, that's cured. Okay, that's fine. I just didn't want to take any more stupid, unnecessary damage. And it is now... Uh, it's getting dark. So I guess we'll be having uh, all of this. And yes, there's now... There's now... Yep, that's the DLC starting fight. Which is uh, a disaster. That's happening at all. So this is all fine. This is where I'm supposed to uh, be. I should... Oh! Okay! I was just jump scared by cocking old man Stockton. And then literally, there's literally... Oh, can we not begin the... Are you going to refuse to begin the quest until that fight ends? And if that fight ends, that's... Oh, good. I'm so glad this is all bloody happening. Yeah, I'm supposed to be waiting until night time. But I suspect what's happening is he's panicked and has run up to me early because of all of this nonsense. And I'm also not sure what officially counts as night time. I mean, it's 9pm. That's pretty night time, right? Okay, good. He's doing the introductions. Uh, we're fine. We need to get out of here before that fight resolves itself. Please, for the love of God, let's just flip and go. If they could hurry the flip up, I'd really appreciate it. Because, uh, yeah, that fight over there, that fight is uh, not good. That fight needs to flip it. What was that? Was that Stockton? I hope that was Stockton. Uh, I don't know where Carla is. If Carla would like to hang around uh, and be involved, I'd really flipping appreciate it. And, uh, hello over there, you're my new friend. Good, you've got a temporary companion on this one, and uh, you can't not, so he's legit, because you literally can't not have him with you. Ooh, this is interesting. Can I just tell him to, like, do the clearing out of the raider so I don't have to? Damn it, he's gonna refuse to do it by himself. I was hoping that might just be an option, but no. Flipping, let's get this done. Like, as soon as possible. Please don't resolve yourself, just stay busy over there. Let this guy take the lead, he draws the fire, and then I pick them off. I don't have any... No, I've got no crits right now, which is a problem. But this is fine, and watch out for suspiciously physics in cars, and seriously, just make this happen fast. And I'm straight in caution. Good, 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 good. I'm glad I'm straight in caution. I really appreciate being in caution immediately. Okay, we need to follow him. Super mutants. Good. Good, good, good. I'm glad about that. Right, now who's firing on him? Just one flipping Raider Psycho. Take a shot. There's a sneak. Yeah, he's going to draw him out. I'm going to knock him down, alright? It's like bowling, but also not at all like bowling. Just, yeah, follow him. Yeah, there's mutants around here. I haven't actually... Who's he firing at? I wonder who he just killed, because that mutant just killed somebody. And now you're going in. Uh-oh. Okay, I see Raider Psycho over there. 95, take you down. But yeah, with my current adrenaline, this gun, and staying down, staying hidden, good. A voice clip means... I was about to say a voice clip means we're safe, but no. No, it turns out not. So, are you down? No, you're fine. But someone just shot you. Okay, I'm just going to back away. Down you go, my friend. All right, just keep on moving. Now H222's just running out into the open field. I've only got nine bullets left. And did did we just lose the synth we were supposed to be saving? Because I feel like we did. Um, Is he okay? Okay, he can't die. Good, you can't fail this mission, which is important. Because if we did, that'd be uh, kind of a shame. 
We're still in caution. And you really shouldn't have run ahead. That one was on you. Okay, if I move close by to this guy, he starts moving forward. If anyone would like to have 308, I'd appreciate it. The Psychos could, you know. They sometimes have that. No, that was a 10mm pistol. A couple of these others might have been Psychos. 38. 45 I'll take, because we might start using that sooner rather than later. Just keep on keeping on. Alright, there's... Yeah, we're going straight through uh, Raider Territory. Right here. And the... Yeah, the bar's not that useful right now. Because... Oh, he's got his gun up. He knows something's going on. And... Uh, Super Mutant! We finally found that Super Mutant. He goes down. That's absolutely fine. And take out the melee lads first. One. And actually, uh, no, let someone else take care of that. Please finish him. Please finish him. Okay, I guess I'll do it, given I'm the only person that can cocky do anything useful. Five bullets left in this thing. Suicider! Uh-oh! Okay, where's the Suicider? Where's the Suicider? Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Critical him! Please be far enough away! I just nuked H2, H2! Back off. Okay, I was far enough back. Um, that's H2, H2 dead. Does, does anybody know where, where the rest of them? Okay, he's back up. So, that corpse is just rolling comically towards me, which is great. Um, there's nothing behind me, right? Okay, we're fine. Just be ready. Uh, how many more bullets do we have? Not, not many. Uh, like a handful. Uh, there we go. Caution. Three shots. Uh oh! Whoa! 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 And one and two, please. Okay. Never mind. That's that was lucky. One bullet left in this thing. Uh, ha ha ha. Okay, that's good. I'm going over to a much weaker gun. So that's, that's great. I'm really glad I'm going over to a much worse gun. Okay, seriously, stay the flip back. I can't afford to get involved in anything. And now I'm not silent, so I'm going to be detected a lot more easily. And just FYI, this needs to go down and... Who's firing? Who's firing? Someone fired. Someone's firing in there. Okay, that's fine. But then, ah, through that door right there. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Uh-oh, legendary. Does anyone know where the, the legendary is? Because I wouldn't mind killing the legendary, but I'm not really in a good position to do so. We found the plaza. You've cleared out that guy. You know what? I'm willing to let that legendary go. I'm willing to just let... Please let me inside. Why are you always blocking my cocky access to doors? Just let me in. I just will feel better if I can... I hate you all. At the bare minimum, I am capped out on adrenaline right now. So uh, even my basic laser is hitting like a brick. 62 damage. Yeah, for a basic uh, level 0 laser rifle, uh, it'll have to flip and do. Because it's all we've cocking got then again. Hang on. The combat rifle. That's 79! Right, well, we should definitely be using that then! Okay, ignore the legendary mutant skirmisher. I don't have a crit to nail him, so just go straight past. Let this guy lead. Stay at the back. I'm no longer using anything silenced, because laser weaponry isn't silenced, despite, you know, firing light, which you'd think would be arm overtired. Okay, I need to get some sleep in sooner rather than later. Okay, we're back on the street, which is good. I think we're getting close. We're getting close. In fact, is that it right there? Have we made it? I think that's it right there. There can be dogs in the lobby, I think, but nothing uh, nothing too dangerous. All right, ready to camp up ahead, uh, but I'm pretty sure we're here. Okay, so we did that without taking damage, right? Yep, still minus 40. We're fine. I was wondering whether, yes, maybe that mutant that blindfired on me had clipped me, but he just missed. There were inches in it, though. Okay, that's that done. I can nip inside. He said if you need bullets, you can nip inside. Good, because I really need 308 bullets right now. Oh, and I even get the, oh my goodness, you're in a good place music. So that's, that's bloody nice to hear. Okay, this place is a safe house, so presumably there is, like, you know, a proper beds and stuff. Right? Because I'm seeing a couple of, like, you know, mattresses and whatnot. I really need a proper bed in a perfect world. I wouldn't mind staying the night here. Here we go. Proper bed. 
that'll do. So right now it's midnight and I'm overtired. Let's go for, yeah, 7 hours to 7am. That way I get well rested. I will lose, yeah, probably, or maybe I'll keep like one adrenaline, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's worth it. I'm overtired right now and I'm not hungry or thirsty. We're pretty much as safe as we can be. It's just cross your fingers for uh, no disease. No disease would be lovely. And are we good? We're good. Okay, lovely. We are not diseased in any way. Fresh new day. No longer tired. Well rested. Everything is marvellous. Let's actually help ourselves to... Uh, you said ammo. Excuse me. Can, can everybody just stop blocking up the doors for two cocking minutes? Oh, and if I could, uh, there's a mini nuke here. Can I take that? I can just take that. Right, well, that's flipping mine too. Marvellous. And don't forget, there is also uh, guns and bullets. Plus 5% critical damage to all ballistic weaponry. Uh, very, very bloody useful to grab that. And Missy, they did promise... They promised me ammo. I'm not seeing much in the way of um, ammo. So that's, you know, a, a bit of a letdown under the circumstances. Because uh, really could have done with some of that. And I'll tell you what the even bigger victory is... Uh, the game did not say, yeah, the automaton start had been resolved. So uh, now we just stay away from this area for a long cocky time. Because we do not want roving kill bots. Alright, that there, that's possibly the biggest victory of this whole bloody thing. And now we're back on roads that we've already cleared. So yeah, this is kind of what this was all about. Now I can pretty safely move up and down the river. So at speed... I can get straight back to the railroad. Aside from the fact there's still like one raider unaccounted for among the raiders over there. So uh, maybe watch out for him because I've already been bloody nailed by that pack. So uh, I'd rather like, you know, not be a second time. That would just be embarrassing beyond what it already is, which it is. I'll tell you what, it seems to be... Oh, okay. When I say it seems to be fine, uh, that's, that's all as it should be right there. And then you just need to go down. I thought we were done, actually. But it turns out that, um... Yeah, there were... There were more. Actually, two more. I thought there was one. Are we finally done? Oh, we're finally cocky done. Okay. We finally cleared out these bastards. And Pikmin's Gallery is available. Would anybody like to have uh, 308 rounds on them? No? No, I'm guessing not. Because no one's ever going to be bloody helpful, are they? Okay, but with them dead, we do now definitely have a confirmed easy run between, yes, uh, the old North Church and my base. And that, that's worth 10 hit points, damn it. Okay, turn that in, hit level 20 as well, just which is great. And most importantly, Pam's now willing to talk and wants me to set up a brand new safe house. I believe this is, uh, this is hopefully what I want it to be, because if so, oh bloody hell. The thing is, she can ask you to do, you know, various different locations. So, uh, please not outpost Zimonja. Anything but Zimonja. Mercer safe house? It's outpost Zimonja. I kind of figured it would be what I should have done is uh, not taken a sunshine tidings that it could have been that. But I suspect I took all the others it could have been. So, I kind of brought that one on myself. Good. Now I need to go and take out Post Zamonja, which is guarded by a raider in power armor who has a mini nuke launcher. So that's, that's gonna be fun. If you don't know where Outpost Zamonja is, by the way, yeah, it's, um, it's all the way up here. It's a very, very bloody long way out of the way. It's a long bloody walk. And yes, indeed, we are now up to uh, level 20, literally just got that by completing boss and after dark, and... Uh, 160 out of 200, so we have lost a total of 40 hit points, which is uh, not great, but not a disaster either. It's been on a very small tap so far, and that's uh, that's pretty much as good as we could hope for. And uh, I'm also sitting on uh, two level ups. Now, uh, let's just say I've got a plan for those two level ups. I know precisely where they are going. I know precisely what we need to do next. And uh, I would say, ladies and gentlemen... Uh, that is enough for now, so next time we're going to kick off by, yes, nipping back to our base and I will discuss precisely what we need those two level ups for because there are two crucial things it's time for us to take, it's time for us to do. It is going to be some good stuff and I'm guessing one of them is not going to be what you're expecting, but 
it is absolutely critical for the next move I plan to make. So, let's talk about my plan and my next steps next time, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.